We'll walk y'all through the process of how I'm doing my tomatoes. Uh, I was I have 14 tomato plants and I'm going, I'm growing them so quick I can't keep up. So what I've been doing is I'll uh, stuff them in these bags, and I think when I started these bags like no shit were full of you know regular ripe tomatoes like full, and then I froze them, and then uh, when I was ready I thought I was ready to to thaw them out and can them I I thawed them out for a day or two and then. Uh, I decided I wasn't quite ready because I had something that popped up, so I froze them again. And um, I guess between all of that, it just compacted down because they get soggy. It's kind of compacted down to this, so that's what one bag of tomatoes turns into. Just so y'all know, uh, when you freeze them and do that, the uh, peels, like the uh, the skin, you can just take it out and peel it off, and then uh, then you take them from there. And actually, I save the peels and I throw them in my little compost bag which isn't really compost, what I do with it is I fill up my freezer with this other bucket I have and uh, I freeze them and it gives my uh, rabbits a nice little cold treat. So these are rock solid tomatoes right now. So anything that goes bad, stuff throwing away. See how it's got a little mold spot and yada yada yada. Well, uh, I, I just throw them in here and then I go out there in the like morning and noonish time and I give these to my rabbits they got a nice little cool sweet treat that slowly thaws out so it lasts them a little long time and and uh, it's not bad, so that's what I do with my skins, like pretty much anything, like vegetable-y or fruity or whatever, I throw in there and give that to them, and then I give the chickens all the noodles and stuff, but so pretty much you take the thawed out tomatoes, skin them and take the stem off and whatnot, throw that in here, and then you throw the rest of it inside here, and I've done nothing to this right here besides throw them in there, and then now that these are warming up, I'm going to continue as I'm going through and... Yeah, I'm going to continue to throw more tomatoes in there and I continue to make that and I think what I'm just going to do is heat them up and, and can them like that. I'm not going to add any spices or anything because we may not use the tomatoes the same way each time. We may use them for like a chili, we may use them for um, spaghetti sauce. So we're just going to put them in there like that and save them like that. So when it comes time to actually cook with them, we can uh, spice them or prep them however we like. So I'm going to show you next how we peel the tomatoes and whatnot, so you should see how easy it is. Right. Right. So I'm just taking the tomatoes out, and uh, so I'm get you a good view there. I just take them, and then we get a thing over here, a plate, so catch some of the juice. I just take them, and you can see, Trying to see because of the light, but see how that skin it just peels right off. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it in steps. I'm gonna peel them, throw them here, and then when I'm done peeling all of these, I'm gonna take and go through and cut all the stems off instead of mixing it up. So, you just take them, and peel it. So you just got these little mushy balls, but at one point this was a nice ripe tomato. And if you get a little skin in there, whatever, I don't care, you know what I'm saying? Like, leave a little skin on there, I don't really care. It's just like when you get a little bit of skin from your, pota uh, your potatoes, inside your mashed potatoes, honestly, who cares? Adds a little flavor to it, whatever. Just continuing to peel. And these, like seriously, the skin just falls off, like it's just a matter of grabbing it and throwing it to the side. So, next I'll show you me cutting the stems off. Alright, and just because I'm lazy, and it's, I feel like it's honestly just easier for a lot of stuff I do, I'm just going to take scissors and just snip in there. And grab it out. See? Easy. Just take the little stem, one nut, put it to the side. Next one, just cutting. Find it. Cut, 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 cut. Start to the side. And the last one.
Now, next time, honestly, I'll probably go back and st cut the stem off before I uh, freeze them, just because it'd be easier to. It's, it's easier that way, I feel. So, and these are ready to go in the pot. Alright, so I'm just taking, you just go through and just stir it up and whatnot. I'm actually probably gonna, mm, I don't know, it depends on how many tomatoes I have. I'm gonna keep my eye to this, but I have bigger pots I bought uh, for if I have, uh, if I'm running out of room. Because this is honestly the biggest pot I had before yesterday. So, just to show y'all what I'm working with. Alright, so I got them all in there. You can see some of them are kind of chunky. That's more or less the fresher ones I just put in. But, I'm just going to let them sit on there, like medium. And then I'm going to get some other stuff done, canning wise, while they sit there and simmer and whatnot. And uh, then I will just pour those straight into the uh, jars and uh, I will go ahead and start to seal them. Next, I'll be uh, showing you how I'm doing jalapenos. And as you see, I threw in uh, some of the rest of the tomatoes, and uh, I'm going to let those simmer at like medium. Uh, by the way, I don't know if anyone noticed, but I'm not a genius or a chef or anything. I, I'm just kind of going at the whim. I've watched some YouTube videos myself, and I'm taking what I learned and what I kind of know, and uh, just kind of going on my own and teaching myself, you know, the rest, uh, that and what the book says. Um, but... Um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and warm these up, and then when everything else is ready, I'll start to jar them. And I'm taking my spaghetti slop, nothing but tomatoes that I froze, peeled, and put in here. Now I'm going to actually put them in the jars and can them. And a wife killed the tomatoes. Some of them at least. Hope I can get these all in three jars instead of a fourth. Looks like we might. All right. We did. My rag, dip in my hot water, and clean the rims off just to make sure I don't think I got anything over there, but just making sure. And then I'm going to take my magnet. Back inside the water. I'm gonna bathe in here for about half an hour. Then I take them out. What I do, just to make sure they get sealed, is I set them upside down on the mat over there, and let them sit like that overnight. So, 
it's so high, and we're having such a high temperature, I'm going to take some of this water out. Clean those soils. Now, I'm just going to let the top of it sit. 